So before we go into the video, make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel, guys. I have only one month to complete YouTube requirements. Make sure I do that. It means a lot. It's black and white. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sam and in this video, we are going to be talking about how to record gameplay for YouTube without any pixelation in 2020. So in order to record a gameplay, you guys must have a recording software. So the, so the software that I like to use is OBS Studio. So if you guys don't know about the OBS Studio, OBS Studio is actually a recording software which allows you to record your gameplay for YouTube or you can even stream it on YouTube or on Twitch as well. So if you guys want to download it, just go to your favorite browser, go to Google and search OBS Studio. Go to obsproject.com and here all the magic happens and you guys can download it for Windows, Mac and Linux as well. Okay, guys, once you have downloaded and installed OBS, just to run it. I am running it already. And here, normally, you guys are going to find nothing. So it's going to be completely blank. So if you guys want to record your display, you guys can press right click, go to add and go to display capture. And in this way, it will capture your desktop. So for this particular video, we are talking about gameplay capture. So we are going to be going to the gameplay capture. And here you guys can give it a name of the game you guys want to capture. So I'm just going to be giving it a name of IGI2, which is pretty old game, but it still works. So here we have capture and a full screen application and a capture specific window. So capture specific window is for those people who are playing two games at once. I don't know why they do that, but you guys can select whatever games you want to record. So here you guys are gonna see window and you guys select whatever games you want to record. So I'm just gonna leave it at capture any full screen application, okay. So now let's go to the settings and here all the magic happens. So go to the output. Output. I don't know why did I see output. It's output. Okay. So output mode must be advanced. You can change it by clicking here. So go to the recording and here we can find the best quality recording. So recording path is going to be the path where you guys are going to see your recording recorded files and it's default. I'm just going to keep it at default and recording format must be mp4 so if it, it's going to normally it's going to be mkv just change it to mp4 and we're going to be talking about audio tracks a little later so encoder i have an amd graphics card so i have selected a 264 avc encoder amd advanced media framework and if you guys have nvidia just select the newest recorder and out rescale output must be 1920 by 1080 so preset so normally it's default. There is nothing you guys can select whatever you want to, but I'm just going to leave it at normal. So rate control method, which decides the quality. So I just keep it at constant bit rate and you guys can select variable if you want to, but I haven't used it already. I haven't used it ever. So I'm just going to keep it at constant bit rate. Pre-pass mode, you can enable it if you want to. It doesn't do a lot. So target bitrate is actually the amount of the quality of your video. So I just keep it at 40,000, which is, I think, the best for a YouTube video without any pixelation. So keyframe interval must be two and everything must be whatever it is. So go to the audio. Now let's talk about audio tracks. So usually if you guys watch my videos, I record my gameplay audio separately and my microphone audio separately. It is because I don't have a good microphone and I have to edit my audio afterwards. So for that, I make two audio tracks, one for the game audio and the next one for my microphone so that I can remove the background noise later. So for that, you guys have to select two audio tracks and then go to the audio and you guys Okay, so go to the audio here and uh, uh, select audio bitrate 320, 320, and you guys can give it a name. I have given it a game audio and a mic audio so that I can know which is the game audio track and which is the microphone audio track. Okay, guys, I just wanted to mention you guys a very important thing that your audio tracks will not work unless you go here to advanced audio properties. So here we have the first audio track of desktop audio and the second audio track for the mic audio. In this way, it will work. 
So 320 audio bitrate so that you guys can get the best quality of your audio. Now go to the audio and sample rate. Default, at default, it must be like 44.1, but you have to change it to 48 kilohertz so that you guys can get the best quality channel stereo and you guys can select your outputs of your desktop and also from your mic. You guys can select, I have my microphone, <clears throat> USB microphone, I can, I'm gonna be selecting that. It's already selected, there's no need to change it. So now go to the video. So base canvas resolution is the resolution which is of your monitor. It might be a 440p resolution or it might be a 4K, uh, it might be a 4K monitor and it might be a 1440p monitor, which is a 2K monitor, but normally most of the people have a 1080p monitor, so which is the normal one. So output scale resolution is actually the resolution of your recorded gameplay video. So I'm just gonna keep it at 9020 by 1080. If normally it's gonna be like, 1280 times 720, so you guys have to change it to 1080p with aspect ratio 16 ratio 9. So downscale filter. So I select, uh, I usually select it at bicubic sharpened uh, sharpened scaling 16 samples. You guys can even select 32 samples, but it's gonna highly impact your processor. So if you guys have only four cores processor, you guys must select 16. If you guys have six or more cores, you guys can select 32 as well. So as we're recording our gameplay, so the FPS must be 60. And hotkeys, you guys can select. I have also selected a hotkey for my uh, start and stop recording. So that was pretty much it. Now I have a sample to show you guys and let's go. Okay, so how do we know that these both audio tracks are actually working? So I have recorded a gameplay of IGI2 and let's see if it works or not. So this is only the gameplay audio. There is no mic audio in this clip. So let's quickly change it to the mic audio. Right click and go to audio and then go to audio tracks and then go to mic audio. Now you guys are gonna listen only my voice so I'm not gonna be speaking anything with the two separate audio tracks, the gameplay audio track and my microphone audio track. So let's quickly go in there and kill some enemies. Okay, so we are gonna be going in there. As you guys saw that it was only my microphone audio. Now let's change it to the game audio. Go to audio tracks and go to the game audio. So as you guys saw that it worked very well. So I hope that you guys would like this amazing video and if you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and because I will be uploading the next video about the editing software, the softwares that I personally use to record all my, to edit all my gameplay videos. So I will see you guys very, very soon in the next surprising video. Peace.